Hi, welcome to Connor's Guitar Corner. Today's exercise on Connor's Guitar Corner is another in the series of warm-up exercises where we're working on flexibility and getting our hands loose. These exercises aren't about musical um, techniques or working on your ear training. It's about it's really about muscle memory and getting our hands warmed up and then also just getting familiar with playing all around the, the fretboard. We did one exercise in another uh, episode where we were going up and down the entire length of the fretboard. This one we're dealing with going across the fretboard vertically and we're going to be playing four notes per string. We'll start on G. So we're going to do that. This is a variation on a common warm-up exercise where you just play four notes per string. And then you go up and down like this. But that's kind of old and boring. We're going to go for this the super stretcher and really get our fingers going. So we're going to go and then we're going to stay on that with the first finger. We're going to stay on that G that or whatever note you play. The next three fingers go up. So we have and every time you're just leaving one note down. And you're doing it in time and evenly. Right? And then you can start at the top. Stay on that note. Getting that stretch between your index finger and the middle finger. See that? That's by the time you get this one, when you're stretching between the first string and the sixth string, it's quite a uh, workout for your fretting hand. And that can be really helpful because you want to get your body ready for the performance. As musicians, we don't always think about taking care of our body or, or warming up our body for performance. We might just be hanging out, eating tacos, and it's time for the gig. We're just all, we're ready and we're into it. I know it's been helpful for me, and I still eat a lot of tacos. So let's begin. We can use our helpful metronome again. Starting, let's try this vertical stretch out exercise. One, two, and begin. And descending. One thing you can do for a bonus round challenge is you can make sure you can hear, you want to try to hear that note that's staying on the same string over the notes of the changing string. So, and then let it ring out. See, so it sounds weird, but you're going for that stretch. get all different combinations of what finger stays on. It doesn't really matter. I would just say pick one and you can ch you know try to change it up um, and see if you can do it all the way up and all the way down while keeping one finger on the same string and then going down so you get those stretches between your fingers. Yeah. So thanks for stopping by Connor's Guitar Corner, and until next time, keep on rocking in the free world.